so today we are going to discuss merge function so merge function is actually used to combine two data frames by a common uh, or uh, yeah by a column or by more than one columns so you can achieve a left join right right join inner join full join using merge so i hope everyone here is familiar with the joins okay so let's create a data to be used for merge so i uh, i i will be creating a data set which has one uh, numeric and one character variable and i am using letters function to generate alphabets from say 8 to 12 and then another variable called a in data which actually is a, has a sequence from 1 to 5 so this is my a now i create another data frame b let me simply copy this now this is my b so in b i uh, the first column is letter which I, which is actually uh, ra random alphabets random 10 random alphabets and then b is the b is the column in, in the table table b which actually has random numbers which are uniformly distributed so if you guys notice here that uh, using this sample command i actually get 10 set of random integers random integers from 1 to 10 and then i have nested it inside the letters so letters give me corresponding alphabet okay so the, uh, this is the way i have created my two, uh, two data sets a and b now let's move ahead with the merge so if i do this merge a comma b i am going to merge a and b and uh, i have not specified any key over here i have not specified the variable by which i want to merge merge a and b but if you see here table a has a column called letter and table b has a column called letter and i i am going to merge them by letter if i don't specify a key to merge it is going to combine these two table by the column which has same name it is going to combine them by letter as i do this i get this output and if you notice that this is a intersection or maybe i can call it as a inner join this is an intersection of a and b so merge a b gives me an intersection of a and b any questions here please let me know if you have any question okay
श्रीनिवासन Now I am going to achieve full join. So if I do this merge A B and then I use a third parameter which is named as all. So if I give its value all equal to true. Now I run it. You see here I get a full join. So the N A S here you see that in row fourth and fifth. Okay, these tables were not present. Uh, these uh, col uh, values for these col this column B was not present in table B, so that's why we have NA over here. It was present in table A only. And rows number from six to twelve were present in table B, but not present in table A. So this is an uh, full join. This is a full join. Now let's see how to get a left join and then a right join. So here, uh, for all, I will make false, and then left the table on left hand side is referred by a keyword called uh, sorry a. Uh, 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 alias called x so x is the default alias for table on left hand side so if i use that all dot x is equal to true it is going to give me left join you see this is left join and if i use all that y equal to true i am going to get Right join. So this is uh, a little weird kind of syntax where uh, left table you are already referring by uh, some alias called x and y, though you have not declared that alias. But this is how the things are in R. So I hope uh, no one is confused about this all that x and all that y. A left hand side table is referred by alias x, which is default, which is fixed, and uh, right hand side table is referred by alias y. Which is again fixed. Okay, so let's uh, move ahead with pie chart. So okay, let's create a vector cars which has these values. Now I use a function called pi. So it has given me pi chart, where the <laughs> width of uh, width of each sector corresponds to the value. So we see that uh, this fifth sector is the largest since it has largest value nine. So, any questions on this pie chart? Then uh, I hope everyone is getting this pie chart uh, so that I move ahead with further options in this pie chart. Okay. Now, if I want to have a rainbow uh, uh, colors, which actually are coming from rainbow shades, I can use call equal to rainbow, and then five. So, rainbow function accepts one argument, which tells the function that how many uh, shades of color you want. So, if I give rainbow five, I, I will be getting five shades of color. Now, when I do this, when I I get the colors in my pie chart, which are which uh, where the shades are coming from my uh, rainbow.
okay now suppose you don't want to hard code the color over here means you don't want you don't know the limit okay ganesh i will come to that uh, suppose you don't want to uh, give 5 over here and if uh, you are not familiar of how many data points you have there so what you can do you can use a length function okay so let's try a length function separately then i will use it in argument okay if i type length cars okay sorry i misspelled the function it's length if i do length cars so it's giving you 5 over here so it has actually uh, found the length of the vector now i can nest this length cars inside this rainbow function now it's going to dynamically pick the length based on the size of vector so if i now have a vector with say 10 elements i create cars 1 rename it all to cars 1 so this is my bar plot for 10 elements so here i have not decided uh, i am not actually uh, i am not uh, suppose i am not aware of uh, the length of my vector then i can go about with using length function inside my rainbow function 